Now, if you've clicked on this video, I assume you are confused. You see, at the driver's hub, we get you. Because the Duke is the F in fun, but are you always going to be ready to race? And the Interceptor oozes out big bike energy, but is it too big a bike for the newbies? Hmm. Where to go? What to do? In all fairness, it all depends on your lifestyle and at the end of the day, a vehicle is an extension of your personality. However, these two bikes cater to two different poles of the demography, at least here in India. And I, just like so many of you, sit somewhere in the middle of these poles. So just to get your confusions out, I'm going to give you a couple points to consider while choosing between these two. The lightweight, aggressive riding position of the Duke and the Peppy motor all combined together make a true pocket rocket. The 43 bhp and the 13 Newton meters do propel the Duke faster in a 0 to 100 stint than the new Volkswagen Golf GTI. However, the only downside that I see to this Peppy motor is that all the power is available to you higher in the rev range. This is going to be a little problematic when you're in the city because, first of all, the Duke has short gear ratios and you've barely got any power low down in the range. So when you know you want to get away from the traffic, you will have to downshift and you will keep on needing to have the throttle pinned. So that's probably the only downside I have because it's just very dead and in city traffic the bike will tend to get hot and if you're stuck in bumper to bumper traffic, it's going to get to a point where your legs will start to melt. Fun no doubt, but if that really isn't your scene, then that is exactly where the interceptor comes in clutch. <laughs> When it comes to the personality of the 650, the dollops of torque that the engine provides is super low in the rev range, which makes overtaking well a non-issue. The bike holds space really well, and when it comes to the parallel twin, I'd like to say that it has a soul. You feel that it's analog in the right places, something where the Duke just lacks. Overall, it comes down to you as a rider and your riding style. If you like a high revving bike that gives you everything at a higher RPM, the Duke is for you. But if you want a more torque on demand kind of bike, I'd say the Interceptor is more suitable option. But it isn't just about the engine too. The bike should be comfortable to sit on as well. If you consider doing a lot of long rides and also spending a lot of time on the bike, then the Interceptor is a better bet for you. Because first of all, you've got the raised handlebars, so you know you'll be sitting upright. And that is a position you definitely want to be when you're doing a lot of long rides because it's going to not have any sort of stress on your body and it's still going to be very comfortable. At the same time, you've got the pegs just below your torso. So your legs, in a, legs are in a very comfortable position as long as they are up on the pegs. The moment you keep your feet down, they're going to come in the way and trust me, you're going to have a lot of bruises on your calves and your shins. And it really, really hurts. That is one thing that I want Ari to change. To compensate for all of that, the Royal Enfield has given us a very short ride height. So for shorter riders like me, it becomes very easy to keep like our foot flat to the ground. But as I said, maneuvering it here and there is going to be a problem. And even though accessibility and reach are still very easy, but having to keep your feet very wide open, uh, wide apart. <laughs> That's what she said. The only thing annoying is that even if I have to keep my legs pretty wide apart, it becomes very difficult and honestly it becomes really annoying at a point. The Duke is a completely different ball game when compared to the 650. The handlebar sits lower, the foot pegs are quite rear set and the ride height is also slightly taller. But to be honest, in the city, it's not a very back-breaking situation. You'll still be a little more comfortable and it's going to be completely fine. But best believe, when you go for longer rides, you will be cramping in your wrists and your legs. But take the 390 out to a curvy section and be ready for your senses to be recalibrated because the compact rider dynamics and the shorter wheelbase help the Duke 390 carve out corners like a knife on butter. But mind you, that is only on a good section of roads. If you do something like that on a bad patch of roads and, do not, and you do not have enough pressure to put onto the pegs, you will simply wheelie out of all situations in order to preserve your back and those USD folks. When you're on the move in the Interceptor, you'll notice the riding position Paired with the smooth running engine, the neutral back to basic chassis and the plush suspension setup help 
to go over potholes, bumps and bad stretches of road with ease and also it does not make you feel like your back has been shifted into a different galaxy. And at the same time, it is not really a com big compromise when you start hitting those nice B roads because you can very easily tip into the corners and you can even try to scrape the pegs but that is a really rare occurrence because we've been generously gifted with a good cornering clearance. Well, overall, what is the better buy than you will ask? You see, the price point at which you can pick up both of these bikes in the second-hand market, they both are a steal. You cannot go wrong with any of these bikes. The Duke over the years in the country has made a name for itself. The peppy motor of the bike with the torque high in the rev range is a hoot to ride on in the ghats, but when in peak hours of traffic during the day, well, it isn't that fun. Whereas the Interceptor has what we call torque on demand. Whatever RPM you are on, just give it a bit of throttle and you'll be gone away from the traffic in no time, saying that you have figured out how to cope up with the weight of the bike. What bike would you choose? Tell us in the comment section down below. Like this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm Tanay and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.